Thank you. Do you want to hear something really shocking? As many of the great people in this room know, painted on those missiles in both Hebrew and Farsi were the words, Israel must be wiped off the face of the earth. You can forget that. What kind of demented minds write that in Hebrew? And here's another, you talk about twisted, here's another twisted part. Testing these missiles does not even violate the horrible deal that we've made. The deal is silent on test missiles. But those tests do violate the United Nations Security Council resolutions. The problem is no one has done anything about it. We will, we will, I promise we will. Thank you. Which brings me to my next point, the utter weakness and incompetence of the United Nations. The United Nations is not a friend of democracy. It's not a friend to freedom. It's not a friend even to the United States of America, where, as you know, it has its home. And it surely is not a friend to Israel. With President Obama in his final year, yay! He may be the worst thing to ever happen to Israel, believe me. Believe me. And you know it, and you know it better than anybody. So with the President in his final year, discussions have been swirling about an attempt to bring a Security Council resolution on terms of an eventual agreement between Israel and Palestine. Let me be clear. An agreement imposed by the United Nations would be a total and complete disaster. The United States must oppose this resolution and use the power of our veto, which I will use as President 100%. When people ask why, 